Welcome to part 9 in our series on Flask to AWS. In this video, we're going to set the SSL certificate for our Route 53 domain name we created in the previous video. This is going to allow us to access our web app via our Route 53 domain securely. This is going to involve a few different things. First, we're going to create the certificate on AWS. Then we're going to modify the load balancer to redirect traffic on port 443 to the target group. And finally, we're going to modify the security group to allow traffic on port 443. Real quick before we get started though, you can help me out a lot by doing a few simple things. Sponsor me on either Patreon or GitHub sponsors, subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and sharing on platforms you use like Reddit, Discord, etc. Starting the repo on GitHub, and also follow me on GitHub. All these things help me out a lot, and I really appreciate it. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is create the certificate. So we're on the management console, up at the top, we're going to search for certificate manager. So we're going to request, request, next, get our domain name. We're going to do star as a wildcard because we're going to allow aim domain name in front. Specify our domain name, programming with alex.com. This means that we can create anything in front of program with alex.com. We can create my domain dot program with alex.com, whatever you want. But make sure you include this wildcard and dot in front, otherwise, you will get certificate errors. DNS validation, because it's going to be an easy click and push to push the record to DNS. Requests. Great, it's issued. View certificate. Create records in Route 53. You may need to refresh once or twice. Create records. Good. Looks like it was created. So now let's go to Route 53 and take a look. Route 53. I'm going to go to host the zones on the left. Your domain name, scroll down, and we see the C name record. This C name record corresponds to the SSL certificate. Great, so we know that's all set up. Next thing we can do is go to the load balancer. So the top and search for EC2. We're going to scroll down the left and select load balancers. Go to listeners, add listener. We're going to do HTTPS, 443, add action, forward, select our target group and then select our certificate and click add. View listeners. Great, we have a listener for 443. One thing we need to do though, is we need to redirect traffic on port 80 to port 443. Right now, both of the listeners on port 80 and port 443 are forwarding to our target group. Port 80 is always unsecured though. We don't want that. We want to disallow that. That's where we're going to forward to 443 instead. So click edit. We're going to remove this and add an action to redirect port 443 save changes view listeners there we go port 80 is now redirecting to https perfect okay last thing we need to do is the security group go to instances select your instance security scroll down select your security group inbound rules edit Add rule, rule for HTTPS, custom, we're going to allow anywhere, just like we did for port 80. Save rules. Great, that's all we needed to do. So we're going to go up here to the browser, AWS ECS demo dot programming with Alex dot com. And we see it completed. You see we have the little HTTPS secure lock at the top. So now, now we're accessing our web app securely. We can even double check this. Let's remove the S, try to access it unsecurely. It fails, it automatically redirects to HTTPS. Not fails per se, just automatically redirects. All right, great. That's it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna walk through setting up the CI CD pipeline in GitHub Actions. So whenever we wanna make changes to our web application, we can automatically launch out the CI CD pipeline to push the changes to AWS without us having to do anything on the management console manually. If you have any questions though, leave a comment below and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.